crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, I'm here to open up some American Girl items. Um, these were um, the items I had been waiting for. So what happened was um, the last American Girl haul that I showed you guys on video, I had mentioned that there was one other item from my order that I was waiting for. There was like a huge delay on it. And after weeks and weeks of them, you know, sending me updates saying it's still delayed, it's still delayed. Um, then all of a sudden Indigo sent me an email saying that the items were no longer in stock. And so I had the choice to either refund those items or select new items. So I went ahead and got the two items from Joss's collection that I actually like. There's very few things from her current collection that appeal to me. I'm not big on her pajamas. I usually try to always get, like whenever I buy an American Girl that's a character, like um, a historical or a girl of the year, I tend to always get their pajamas and accessories at the very least. Um, although there's been some times where I've got the accessories and thought to myself, why did I buy these? Because I don't really use them much um but I guess it's like the collector in me is like oh well it would be cool like if ever down the road I decided to part with this doll that I could sell this doll with her accessories and her pajamas or whatever I don't know but anyways um I've started to reconsider that kind of thinking and just not like only buy what I love from the collections and that I would use. Now, with that said, I did really like Joss's accessories because it came with these adorable sunglasses and bracelets that I will actually use on her. The other items, eh, I'm not, you know, they're there. I could take them or leave them, but the sunglasses and the bracelets drew me in. Um, so I did get Joss's accessories and I also got Joss's beach vibes outfit because I really thought the top was pretty with the, the palm trees on it and I thought the pants were really cute. I like the little cap. I like everything about that outfit. But um, getting back to her collection in general, I'm not a fan of her pajamas. I think they are very basic. Um... The top is okay, but I really don't like the zigzag print on the pants, nor do I like the color scheme that they went with on the pants. Um, and what else? Oh, I'm not big on her cheerleader outfit. I don't know why. I just am not a fan of the pink that they chose to go with with it. I don't like it. Now, I've seen some collectors opt out of getting her pink cheer outfit and actually going and buying um, the American Girl brand. It's like, I guess from like the Truly Me or whatever line. Um, they had a cheerleader outfit that was turquoise and white, which seems to kind of match her color scheme more because 
She has also like a, I don't know, to me it looks like a workout outfit, but I think it's like her practice outfit or something like that. And it's kind of cute, but I, again, I don't know if I'll get it because it's not my favorite. Um, it's like these grayish leggings um, and then a turquoise tank top. Like there's really nothing special about it to me. Um, but again, like, you know, this top is turquoise. The jacket she comes with is turquoise. The work, the workout outfit or practice outfit or whatever is a turquoise tank top. But yet for her cheer outfit, they went with like this neon pink, almost like the pink in this cap. And I just don't like it. I just, there's something about it that I just don't like. I think it's too much pink. And then they, I think if I remember correctly, they threw in some like neon orange color in there too. I just don't like it. Um, so if I was to get her a cheerleader outfit, I think I would opt for the Truly Me brand or whatever brand it was that American Girl had out of um, a turquoise and white outfit. And I've seen it on Joss that other collectors have put that on Joss and I love it. I think it looks gorgeous on her. However, I do believe they have retired that outfit now. So, and I'm assuming they probably retired it before they brought out Joss because they didn't want the conflicting cheerleader outfits. Um, so, I mean, if I ever wanted it, I would have to look at eBay or like the American Girl Buy Sell trade groups I'm in because I won't be able to get it from American Girl anymore. I think I even checked their website and it's it's not on there. But yeah, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just not, I went through all of her current available pieces and I like them. I mean, I don't like them, sorry. I don't like them. One thing that I do really like though is there is a jacket that they came out with. It's similar to the jacket that she comes wearing, um, but it's slightly different and it's a really cute jacket, but you can only get it if you're a rewards member. And I signed up through the American Girl website for the rewards program. So I'm, and surprisingly it let me do it, but I have never received awards from my orders because I found out after the fact, um, they don't offer rewards, uh, to Canadians. <laughs> so, um, so they, you know, when you have, when you're a rewards member, American Girl has uh, reward exclusives. So like when Luciana was out, you could get like the whole, um, astronaut set with like the big dome that they put over their head and everything like that. And it was like $80 if you were, and you could buy it if you were a, a rewards member. Um, and now with Joss, they have this really nice jacket, but I can't get it because I'm in Canada. So anyways, let's go ahead. I think I'm going to start with the accessories and we'll get this. So they started doing the accessories this way. There's like a little tag, like I guess to hang it up. And then, um, it's got her name, Joss Kendrick with like the orange, yellow, you know, and it's got all these things in here that we're going to look at. Um, and then these ones now, instead of having like um, a lift top, you have to go in through the bottom. And sometimes I have a really hard time getting that open because it just... It's going to end up ripping the box, which is fine. I mean, I'm just going to cut the box apart anyway. I'm just going to cut this out as a label. And, oh, Nicole, thank you for showing how you label your Ziploc bags for American Girl items. 
it is going to save me so much time. I am no longer going to have to use my sticker machine because um, what Nicole has done is she just cuts out this piece and just slips it inside the bag with the outfit or accessories. And I was like, duh, why didn't I think of doing that? Because, oh my God, I'm going to save so much money because my sticker machine, like the refills go so fast when I'm using them to label my stuff. So I want to thank you for showing that in your video because um, it, it was a great idea. And I was like, wow, I need to start doing that. And um, if you haven't subscribed to Nicole's channel, please go over to her channel. It's My Reality with Nicole. I'll link it in the description. Go and show her some love. She needs more subscribers and she does great videos and she's my good friend. Um, so here's the sunglasses. So they're just like um, a blue, or they're like a turquoise blue and they're plastic and they're just kind of clear. And then the lenses themselves are um, like a pink at the bottom and then it runs into like blue at the top. I don't know why this friggin' camera is not focusing. There we go. Now we can see it. So there's the sunglasses which are adorable. And then it also comes with a cell phone case. That's also turquoise. And I'm assuming the cell phone's somewhere in here as well to put in. Um, funny, I have, I got a cell phone with another accessory set too. I think it was the Truly Me, me accessory thing. And it comes with this cute little purse and it's like white, navy blue turquoise and gray stripes and it's like a burlap sort of feel or canvasy feel and then it's got this blue rope and like these little tassels at the bottom it's so adorable so she can put all her things in there and then we have all these small things all packaged up into one thing here and <laughs> they also have wrapped each one individually which I think is very wasteful I'm sorry American girl but I really find this to be wasteful because if you're already packaging all of these items into one big clear bag why do you need to individually wrap them as well that's just wasteful um, you know like I really get frustrated with packaging on stuff because it's just like we already have enough garbage in this world and pollution it, so I get frustrated when I see this much packaging <sighs> so here's bracelet number one and I hope it will focus there we go so it's like a braided bracelet and it's got orange, green, and blue. And then it has a little silver clasp that you close like this. You just snap these two pieces together. And then it has a little dangly part that's, you know, just says American Girl. So we've got that bracelet. And I'm going to open the next bracelet. And it's this cute little, again, turquoise beaded bracelet. So as you can see, like, her color scheme is definitely turquoise. So why on earth would they make her cheer outfit pink? Like, I really don't understand that. And it's just a stretchy, stretchy bracelet. Okay, and then we have, it looks like a key. I 
I don't know how well this will come up. Hopefully I can get this to focus. Uh, there, yeah. So it's a little key on a keychain, and the keychain is just like doe suede, little tassel there. Now, I don't know if this key is supposed to be for her house or, oh, there's one other thing in there that I didn't see. Um, what does it say? One key and chain. Okay, so it doesn't say what the key is for. I don't know if the key is for her house or if it's for her Volkswagen because she... Um, her big item this year is a Volkswagen that's like $600, and here in Canada, it's like freaking $800. It's insane. Um, I don't get it, but <laughs> it's insanity. Um, so here is her cell phone. I just It just fell out of the box. I didn't have it. So it's just a black cell phone, like a smartphone kind of thing. And then um, it should have like, and then of course it can fit into the cell phone case. But first, first we need the cell phone screen. So this is a card and this is how it was with, um, the ex other accessory set that came with a cell phone. Um, and then I think they did it with Blair's accessories. Now Blair's accessories, hers came with a tablet and it was sort of the same concept where you had these different slides you could put in. So this is like a lock screen and it's rainbow colors. And it's even got like the battery sign in the corner. So it's kind of like um, an iPhone, yeah. It's pretty much iPhone, because if you even look at, like, the apps on there, the calendar, the weather, the camera, definitely an iPhone. And the background is, like, tropical prints. So, the way it works is you have to open the back of phone like this and then it, you have this and then you now I'm trying to remember like which part is the top of the phone and which is the bottom I'm assuming these three little dots are the top of the phone I think um, and then this would be like the home button down there so I'm going to put it that way. So let's put it as the actual phone screen. And then you just pop the back, the backing back on like so. And then you can change it out however you want. And I'm sure this probably fits the, um, I'm pretty sure this would fit the other phones, so I could probably even like swap out screens with the other iPhone that I got from American Girl. So there is the cell phone put together. And now I'll put it in its case. Okay, so now I have the case, and then you just slip it in there, like this. Whoops. There we go. And then it's got this so that she can hold it in her hand. All right, and the next part is, what's the next item? I think there's two things in here. Oh yeah, there's two things. There's a membership card, and I hope it focuses, okay. Shine Athletics Membership Card, Joss Kendrick. Present this card each time you enter the gym. That is so cute. And then there's a little notebook. And, oh, this is Lover Vibes. I'm telling you, 
Taylor Swift lover era is totally these colors like the light pink purple vibe and then even the palm trees because she used palm trees she posted a picture of palm trees the day that she finished recording the album and oh my god palm trees had a lot to do palm trees and butterflies so this is a notebook and the first few pages it's got video contest ideas and cheer moves to master. Her schedule. And be, be all in 100%. And then the rest of the pages are blank. And then the last thing is some money for her purse. I kind of get nervous about taking the money out of the packaging. I have another doll that came with money to put in her purse and I think I ended up leaving it in the packaging which is what I think I'm going to do this time because I don't want it to get wrinkled in the bag. So this kind of keeps it somewhat sturdy. So it's just a one dollar bill right there and it doesn't have anything on the back but it looks like there's about how many three three dollar bills it should say here yeah three dollar bills yeah so it's one pair of sunglasses three dollar bills one id card one woven bag one cell phone one phone case one phone screen one notebook one key and chain one beaded bracelet and one woven bracelet. Those are Joss's accessories. So yeah, they're really cute, but I mainly got it because I wanted her sunglasses and her bracelets. Cause I thought, I really thought those were adorable. And I thought that they would complete her look. So moving on now, I'm going to open her beach vibes outfit and this one you have to take the tape off here and then whoops I'm just gonna stick that up here and then you just open it uh, oh my gosh these boxes are being really annoying okay all right, let's open this. So, yeah, like I was really not in any rush to get these items. It's just when the other items ended up being canceled from my order because they weren't in stock anymore, I just thought I'll go for these for now. Um, so here is the cap. Oh, it's really cute. It's like a soft sort of like canvasy slash cottony material. And it's not that neon pink, actually. It's it's just a bright pink. It's got um, an embroidery of an ocean there, which, by the way, I don't know if you could see it on camera, but that same wave logo is on her keys, on her key. Um, and then this here, see this print here, this sort of like zigzag multicolored print. That's the same print that's her pajama bottoms, and I really don't like that I, I don't like it I just the mishmash of colors to me I just I don't like it but it's only like this small part on each side of the hat and I'm fine with that and then it's got the elastic back and then it has mesh on top I think this outfit looks really cute on her I've seen it and then there's the turquoise tank top and then it's got the print with the palm trees and there's some white stripes at the bottom this reminded me of like the, the late 80s early 90s kind of feel and then the pants I thought were really cute they're sort of like paluzzo pants or whatever you call them they have a little cuff at the bottom and then they're just um, white turquoise and gray stripes and then it's got like a little um 
fake drawstring at the top tied up and then it comes with these adorable sandals or flip-flops I should say they're totally flip-flops and they have like this coral sort of coral orangey furry color across and then in between that is sort of this gray and white pattern and then it uses these elastics um, to hook over the heel to keep it on. This kind of elastic, oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you guys about this. So when I went to do um, the pictures of Nanea and Kanani in their luau outfits, I was so upset. It was the first time that I had put the luau outfit on Nanea, the red and green one. It's like a green grass skirt and a red halter top. But the halter top has these same kind of elastics to keep it on the doll, like to keep it over her shoulder. Well, as I was trying to get it over and up her arm to her shoulder, it's it almost ripped. It, it ripped about halfway. And it's, it probably, on the next time I try to use it, it's probably going to totally rip in half. And so I was really upset about that. I'm not really sure what to do about it because I probably bought that outfit about a year or so ago from Indigo. But it was the first time I used it. And I, so I don't know... Uh, Indigo's not going to be able to do anything, I don't think, because... I don't have the receipt anymore uh, unless it's in my order history but it's like past the day so I don't know if I should contact American Girl about it or what but I was really disappointed with that because you know these are thick elastics they should have held up so I feel like one of them probably was already ripping when I got it like it came to me that way and I didn't realize it or it came with some sort of defect or something. I don't know. But I was upset about that, guys. I was really upset about that. I I, I need to, like, I don't know. I'm going to ask maybe in the American Girl group I'm in what how it, like if it's worth it to try contacting American Girl about it or what. But I was not happy with that. But anyways, there you have it, guys. So, um... That's Joss's um, accessories and her whatever it's called outfit. <laughs> her beach vibes outfit. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing that and we'll see you next time. Bye.